how are you guys doing? It's your girl. Oh, I mean, it was all the AKM is fair focal. Running back for all entertainment. If you're ever joining me, you must definitely welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly. Oh, I mean, I'm a ninja. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Kuningi. Um, but anyway, I am doing a lot better guys. I'm feeling a lot better. Everything is going fine Um, I think i'm in the best hands. Hey, so I think i'm gonna like just do sort of like a story time And obviously an update on my other channel because i've not been there. Um, but yeah Um, so today we are going to just do a long video i'm gonna do one video and i'm gonna be talking about all these topics that are actually trending right now i think maybe there might be one that i might exclude and then just do that on its own because i'm just like what foolery is this but i don't think so i think i'm gonna just do one long video for you guys right now the song that has been stuck in my head is i like dealing with a rich nigga Mm, I like dealing with a rich nigga. He got triggered. I'm the trick, but I got trick bigger. I'm just like, girl. It's 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 deep in my mind. Okay, but anyway. Let's go ahead and get into this chandy. Now, obviously, I'm so sorry that the video is going to come late. Thank God for the inverter because <laughs> load shading is happening right now, but I'm able to film. And so we're going to go ahead and just jump right into this situation where they are accusing Patrick Mutsipe, the Mr. Mutsipe, the richest man in the country from what I've heard, allegedly, they are accusing him of being a machizo and they are alleging that Katleho Duncans is the one that is um, helping him in this chitarization situation. Now, Patrick Muzipe, guys, I, I just feel dishonoring for me to even call him by his name. I'm going to go ahead and just say Mr. Muzipe. Mr. Muzipe, you guys, like, that man is so rich. Like, he's not rich, he's stinking wealthy, you know. And so, come to think of it right now, I've never had any scandal of him impregnating someone or being wild or, you know, being a machizo. None of that up until this very moment. And like, just thinking about it, I'm just like, somebody that does not even have 2,000 rands in their account, they're busy cheating. A whole Patron Mutip throughout all this years have not had any scandals. Look at our black coffee, what they've been doing. <laughs> Look at all the scandals that followed the, that man, you know, and yes, we understand he's rich, but he is broke compared to like a Mutsipe. Do you know? Do you understand? And he has had so many scandals. Some baby mamas alleged coming out, wife divorcing, this and that. Like I can count so many, you guys. Abo, Mr. Rope, Kateho, Kikato Mabu or something. <laughs> guys, but a whole Petrus Mutsipe. Mr. Mutsipe, sorry, I've never heard up until now. So they're alleging that he is the father of her first child. And they're also alleging that she is pregnant right now by his child. And from what I've heard, her first child is actually of age. And so they're also alleging that that is also Mr. Mutsipe's child. They reach Mr. Mutsipe like, guys, you gotta respect. Um, and so they're also alleging that the pregnancy that she's having which i don't know if she's pregnant or not um they're saying that the child belongs to mr mzipe i saw someone saying she's pregnant with twins the story is just running wild now i saw a lot of ninjas actually coming to my dms like oh i mean what do you think of this honestly guys i do not know number one i i feel like um if they share a child that is like of age then doesn't mean that maybe the wife knows and maybe there's been some sort of agreement that you know okay maybe that's gonna be your i don't know side chick or second wife or something polygamy i do not know um and then now she would be pregnant again if obviously everything that is being said is the truth um i feel like this is just really a difficult one because this is miss damzipe we're talking about like i would be so mad at my mother if she was like oh do you know i was uh, you know miss damzipe came to me and i said no i'd be like for what <laughs> For who? My father? Like, I could have been Mutsipe's child? Like, I feel like I would literally, like, hit her with a pot on the head. <laughs> you know? But, um, no. I feel cheating is wrong. No matter where or who is doing it. 
um, I'm just like, if what people are saying is the truth and they're saying that the first child belongs to him, then is she just maybe a quiet second wife? You know, um, Ugajaw is very respectable. I do have to say, she's like the fountain of youth. That woman ain't aging for nobody. I, like at this point, I felt like just saying that girl, and I like she's older. But you honestly can't even say it. Who's Pateka? She's very beautiful. She's like the youth of fountain, as I said. And so I don't know, you guys. Like maybe she's like a second wife, and we just do not know. Or is she like what a certified side chick, which be, would be horrible? Um, and I think what that's just the other thing, obviously, because I saw some people actually asking to say, would his wife then leave? Um, they are of age. I feel I don't even know Patrice Mutipe's wife. I won't even lie. Come to think of it, I know Ramaphosa's wife who allegedly is sister to Petrus Mutsipe, but I don't actually know Mutsipe's wife's face. Come to think of it. And so maybe he just chooses to keep his um, relationships quiet and private. And maybe she is a second wife. I do not know. But obviously, if she is just the side chick it would be highly disappointing because i do feel like that man has enough poise and money to can convince a woman to be his second wife and convince his wife to have that one as his second wife and first wife i don't know i just feel like it um but yeah this one is quite tricky honestly it's quite tricky hey you never know <laughs> You never know, Shibaba, okay? You just never know. I really don't want to say too much when it comes to this, guys. I don't want to, like, eat my own future. What if one day I'm going to be going to the offices of this belongs to Mr. Mzip and Mr. Mzip is like, I don't like you because of what you said. Guys, I'm not telling my future for nobody. So, when it comes to this situation, until maybe one of them comes and confirms, it's Mr. Mzip we're talking about. Put some respect on it, okay? So that's where I stand when it comes to this. Attack me all you want, because I know that there's going to be those that will attack. But it's Mr. Mzipe we're talking about. Would you tell your own future when your possible future? Anyway, go ahead and comment below what you guys think. When it comes to this one, I, um, I didn't even want to talk about it, but ninjas kept on pressing. So I was like, I'm going to talk about it and get it off the way. Um, but we will hear what happens. I feel like if it is false, Okata who would definitely come out maybe with a statement, but if it is true, I feel like she will just keep it moving. That's me. And then I guess you just know what it is. But I do have to say, this is Mr. Mutsipe here we're talking about. Is he not the richest man in the country? I don't know. I saw some girl saying that he's richer than Jay-Z. I don't know which Jay-Z she's talking about. Is it Jacob Zuma or Jay-Z or Beyonce? I do not know. But anyway, ninjas, go ahead and comment down below and let's move on to the next topic. The next topic that we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about Vusi Tembekwayo. Now, Vusi had an interview, and in the interview, he actually said that if it was back then during the apartheid, the apartheid government would have gotten AKA's shooter in less than 24 hours, in 24 hours or something like that. And so that obviously started to cause a bit of hurrah. There are people that came out and they were showing pictures of people, our people, black people back then that were lying on the floor after they've been shot um, and killed obviously by the apartheid police and obviously government because those were orders I guess um, and people were basically just saying that there's nothing positive that you can talk about when it comes to the apartheid government now I'm someone here that you guys know I am of my own mind um, and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys like what I think when it comes to this whole situation however I'm gonna go ahead and also say that he did come out and apologize and what he apologized for um, from what I saw was that um, you know he did bring in aka into the point that he was just trying to make which for me I don't even feel like really he has to um, apologize that's me I mean I'm not a case family or, or anything but I just feel like I, I didn't see a need for him to even apologize okay from what I saw someone saying that oh he's apologizing I, I don't feel um, a need like I don't think that there was any need and let me go ahead and tell you why Number one, guys, think about it. AKA was shot and he has been laid to rest, you know. Um, there was a CCTV footage that was there that actually showed 
aka being shot there's also another video where i saw someone pointing out that the same person that shot aka was in the restaurant um somehow someone that looks exactly like the person that shot aka dressed in the same way even with a hat was in the restaurant and that was actually captured by one of the cameras that the guys were obviously having if you guys saw you saw that they were definitely like having the time of their life um and then after that obviously they ran away they went into the dark and all that but you mean to tell me guys that it has been what almost three weeks now if i'm not mistaken that aka has been shot is it not three weeks CCT footage is there and not even a single arrest has been made that's the, the first thing not even a single arrest has been made and the public has been let known of that there's been an arrest do I I agree with what Vusi is saying I absolutely do I do believe that if it was the apartheid government they would have caught the killers in less than 24 hours in my opinion like 24 hours would have been a lot like if they really wanted to find that person they would have gotten that person already um the the government that we have right now is very weak the leadership under bekele is nonsense i it it really raises my bp hey and i need to relax let me drink water guys me off it does honestly piss me off of the fact that corruption has become so much that in order for police to work they need incentives now if it was a matter of they said that aka is killer where he or she is because from what we saw looks like a woman maybe a man you know if they said wherever this person is at there's three million rands i'm telling they would have gotten that person <laughs> because they know when they get the, the three million that take do you understand what i'm saying like it's it's horrible it's absolutely horrible um it seems like right now if you look at it if you try other things and they do not work eh, i might as well just go and be a police it it's no longer about the passion of i want to go there and make a difference i want to go there and work and serve the community it's all about you know i'm unemployed i might as well just go there and then i will see when i'm there so they get trained and then after that you are there you drag to go to work every day and unfortunately that is the bitter truth um and you know unfortunately it's a profession where people's safety is depending on you you know and they don't even get paid that much unfortunately as well so it's quite sad um just everything that is happening but do i see anything wrong in what vusi said absolutely not i don't think that he was praising the government on its like on everything that they did but he was actually saying that their police were actually very they they would find the killers and that's why i don't think that there was that much crime because <laughs> literally our people were just you know trying to survive obviously and if you did crime like trust and believe like the punishments that they gave you were just severe not the nonsense that they do now where you go to court and you will be saying i have my rights i need three meals a day i need this and that and that they 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 were not doing that absolutely not and so i think that I don't see anything wrong in what he said um but you know you know how people are um but yeah i don't think that he was praising the government um of apartheid i do think that he was simply saying that there are certain things that they were doing right and i personally believe and i do believe that if the anc had copied some of the things that the apartheid was doing and just obviously make sure that it's expanded because of now the way to serve a bigger portion it, it things would have been moving fine now unlike this mess that is south africa right now which is crazy for me but anyway go ahead and comment down below what you guys think and let's move on to the next topic <clears throat> now up next my ninjas we're gonna talk about dr oh 
I'm gonna just go ahead and call him Doctor, guys. You know the movie and that, right? I don't want to butcher his name because I can see that I'm failing to pronounce. And don't come for me. Yeah, let me in it. Don't you dare because you don't go and correct those white people that are there by CNN and whatever. Whenever they pronounce our surnames um, in their own way, okay? Like, don't even. But anyway, this doctor, you guys, is someone that is very vibrant. Um, he's someone that is very energetic. He's someone that, you know, is just doing his job. From what we hear, his patients are very happy. Um, other doctors are very happy with him. Nurses are very happy with him. And so I'm like, okay, you know, he's vibrant, man. If you see him on social media, he constantly has a lot of energy. Hey, I really need to ask. I wanted to say, I wanted to ask him, or like, what does he do? Probably he eats meat and he eats, you know, a lot of spinach and he has iron and he has energy because child we've been struggling in that department but he's very energetic he is very very energetic especially for a doctor i know doctors work crazy hours and they work a lot and it's very stressful um and just being in a hospital is, is a very depressing scene i mean if you're someone that maybe that is not necessarily your passion i don't know like i feel like i i do have quite a bit of knowledge when it comes to this situation in terms of like the working environment because remember guys i used to work the sns um the time that i was still studying and so by the end of the day you just want to go home you don't even want to really talk to people someone died someone's um, parents was here shouting and screaming and as a professional you constantly have to like conduct yourself as a professional do you understand so i have seen like how grumpy doctors and nurses become but i guess he chose the profession that he really really wants now the problem came you guys when people saw um the doctor the good doctor maybe i should just say that um he he was smoking i don't know if it was a video or if it was pictures i saw pictures and then he was um smoking and he had his stethoscope oh guys sorry um and obviously he it did seem like he was at work um and then obviously you know they went on and they reported him to the board like twitter trolls reported him and so when they're reporting him i don't know if the main thing that they wanted was for this man to lose his license as a doctor a doctor that from what we hear everybody that he works with is happy with him except for the trolls on twitter like and then you would ask yourself like exactly what is your problem like ex like what problems do you have you know black people the biggest enemy that we have is ourselves like it's black people against black people that's where we get the most um hate you understand like for me unless if i saw him like miss misconducting himself with a patient harassing a patient not treating a patient right and everything yes then i do feel like okay you know what yo call the the bosses you know but for him for what he dress how he dresses how he walks because he walks like a para you know like he, his walk is definitely a para walk um and at this point if i'm not mistaken his wife or his fiance because i did see them getting engaged i think maybe they're married by now um you know she's pregnant heavily pregnant and that and then you would sit there and be like this man that went to school and studied for years you would want him to lose his license simply because to be a jealous person it's definitely not a doctor definitely not a doctor that um was reporting unless if that's just a hater doctor that personally knows him i don't think that is a doctor because if you're a doctor and you know what you have had to go through all those clinicals that you had to go through the six years that you had to go through some people don't even make it the first time they had to start with the foundation phase which makes it seven years and then others they had to repeat a, a, a certain year or years and you, throughout all the stress is the, the 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 amount of monies that are paid there be it you're with a bursary or you are with nurse first or your parents are paying it's crazy money i don't think that someone that has gone through all that would be so comfortable to sit here and be like hmm, it's just you know the board report nah i don't think so however i will go ahead and say that i do think that our good doctor maybe should be careful 
in terms of not posting things like him smoking him drinking especially if he has got anything that would you know relate him to his job um because obviously he can see already he has got a lot of haters people that would literally want this man to be suspended or something to happen and from what i hear allegedly he just got a promotion so it would really be sad um so i think that you know what you don't do online ain't nobody going to know unless if someone takes a picture of you like secretly then that's not your fault but i would personally never take a video of me smoking like you know cigarettes or you know um drinking alcohol and i'm 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 dressed in like identifiable clothes um that i'm a doctor and stuff like that i'm at work i wouldn't do that um i don't think that that's the smartest move for him to make um and so i do hope that he's going to stop when it comes to that but do i think that it's enough reason for him to can lose this license whilst everyone that works with him is saying that he's good absolutely not i think that people are just more now will kill people you know so yeah i that's how i feel go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation and uh yeah let's move on to the next topic up next my ninjas we're gonna go ahead and talk about kelly kumalo and her dress child um now this is when they were actually celebrating so easy um and i think that we're gonna just go ahead and brush over this but i had to talk about it <laughs> we all can see that dress shibubunke you all can see that dress i don't even know if it's a dress or if it's a what but one thing i can tell you for me is a mess okay like a huge mess i don't know if it was just a matter of she wanted something that was gonna cover up the belly the bump i i it's definitely just a no from me but <laughs> a for effort okay a for effort go ahead and comment below guys like what do you think of kelly's i don't know to call it a dress like attire yeah it's a no from me Mm -mm. no it's it's definitely a no okay and yeah let's go ahead and just move on with this no let's move on up next we're also going to talk about stella and the fact that oh girl is back on instagram now of course you guys know obviously due to the fact that i've not been okay i've been skipping through a lot of stuff but i wanted to actually give that announcement oh girl is actually back okay um she looks beautiful there have been a lot of allegations some people were saying that she had left because her blesser alleged blesser um had now gotten a new person and then that's why she had to leave because imali for pictures and designer clothes um was finished which i'm just like i don't know she said her reason was that instagram is toxic so i am just asking myself okay you being back has instagram now stopped being toxic because from what i know it's still exactly the same so what is the main reason that you had really left girl because if it was a matter of it's toxic i do believe um that then you should have just went ahead and permanently closed your account so i do feel like there's a lot that is actually happening behind the scenes that we just do not know but she is back back with those professional photo shoots and of course designer clothes i still can't believe that there was a time that they actually priced her outfit and her one outfit was over 200,000 rands if i'm not too mistaken and i'm just like girl on clothes that amount on clothes in this economy <laughs> i i don't know I do not know. Some people are alleging that she had gone off to fight Mam Kize for her child. I don't know, you guys. Like, there's a lot of allegations that are obviously coming out. But uh, no matter what is going on, we're going to find out. We are going to find out. So we just have to wait a little bit. But the good news is, at least she's back and her fans get to see her. And she has gotten a lot of um, followers now. Over 800,000 if I'm not too mistaken. So road to 1 million for sure. Um, and so yeah my ninjas. Go ahead and comment down below what you guys think. And let's move on to the next topic. So in no more long you guys. Um, has there was a time that i actually got some screenshots that were saying that Eno Murulong was with a married man now the legend that the man is venda which i don't understand why his surname would be sibeko if obviously that's his surname or name we don't have a sibeko 
in venda Sibeko? no we do have speckles um from um our neighbors who are obviously tongas i think yeah but sveko are in venda uh -uh. so i don't know if he's venda or not or maybe his father is venda and his mother is not and um they chose maybe the mother's surname or something i do not know but as a venda person i can tell you that we don't have venda people that are vendor origins <laughs> that are swego or oh, i've never heard of them but anyway um this guy it seems like he stays in midrand you know he whined and dined ooh, ooh, you know and i've seen some allegations saying that he was a beast in bed something like that you know that he gave a dangerous strokes that's those were some of the words that i actually said i was like okay so in a more long you guys went live and not only was a girl at the verge of crying she was out there basically spilling the beans she even went on to post screenshots between her and this guy and she was saying that she has never been played like that okay she's nobody's side chick she did not know now that would not be a problem except for the fact that Usbek Wakona was just getting married and this is the picture and that is the picture of him and his wife so his wife um is dressed in vendor attire and Inamuro actually posted them and said lol he doesn't even look happy he said so much shit about that woman and does not and does she know you f other women raw so Inu is out here saying that this guy has been effing her raw and then she was also just saying a lot the screenshots that she showed there was where she showed her boobs saying she cannot wait for the guys to choke her and then she just covered the nipples which obviously in the main picture i'm sure nothing was covered over there and he commented by saying mine now after that i've seen allegations that are saying that there was smeg and this lady was supposed to have the white wedding the following weekend and allegedly she cancelled the white wedding now i don't know if that is the truth or not however if it was me i would definitely cancel the wedding i think that is not even just the matter of you cheated on me like you cheated on me with inomurolo black guy no and it has nothing to do with looks i feel like inom ruling is gorgeous but it has everything to do with the lifestyle like you see the lifestyle that inom ruling lives was she not just with that tapiwa and then after that she was like <laughs> all this drama that this girl is constantly in and you are going to choose her to be your side chick i would just dump you for being dumb because at this point like no sir no okay like a whole no so i would not blame her honestly i think that men sometimes are just dumb the lady that obviously is allegedly his wife she looks so beautiful she looks so innocent um i don't see her being the inner type that is constantly just raging fighting with people and you know up and down lady caught the happy happy like you know they are this and that i just don't see um her there but one thing i can say is that it did look like you know really got hurt which is quite shocking because go how are you gonna catch that deep when you and tapiwa's relationship just like the tapiwa is the same guy that she literally even had a tattoo of him i think that you know may be smart in other areas but she's not too smart when it comes to choosing a partner um and i think that if you're someone that is getting heartbroken and then immediately jump into a hearted situationship i it's clearly the guy didn't take her serious yes he did she did send a, a, a proof or something where he sent her i think it was twenty thousand, if i'm not too mistaken but if this nigga is like literally rich rich 20k is nothing to him you understand the fact that he would go and still marry the one that he wanted to and the one that he loves proves that 20k is honestly nothing to him he was giving him the 20k but he knew that i'm not with you and i'm not gonna be with you so if honestly she stopped the wedding kudos to her i'd be proud i think that maybe they would need to just sit and re-evaluate you know she sees if this is what she wants um or she keeps it moving because how dare you have dealings with inomurulung after all the drama that that girl is in constantly makes no sense to me absolutely no sense but anyway why recommend down below what you guys think and let's move on to the next topic up 
next my ninjas we're gonna talk about this ladies that work for this body works for me okay so it is only and um wandy so this is what they're saying i got this obviously for men's not very rooks that says the clash of prawn stars wandy is suing only for a video she released without her permission wandy and Chloe worked on together on the video but Chloe released the video without wandy's permission so i am seeing here that it seems like there's also like you know attorneys and they are saying that they want their client compensated for 200,000 rand so that's what um you know they are demanding and they're saying that that within 10 days um of receiving this um and failing to do that it means that the client um will have no alternative but to immediately institute legal proceedings against you without further notice okay now obviously when it comes to situations like this i feel like it's quite tricky um unless if ukoli has got some sort of release papers that are saying that yes you know they can release this or something like that um i guess i do not know what the terms and conditions were to their agreement did the video make as much as two hundred thousand or more i do not know i've never actually been signed up to anybody's um only fans honestly so i don't know what goes in there i just see whatever it is that is there on twitter where sometimes people will be saying go to my only fans and then they will show a bit and i'm just like okay like it's just modernized porn you know um they do porn the only difference is now they cut out the cameraman that you know like those companies that would just hire them they are their own bosses now they are the ones that would hire somebody to come take videos or sometimes they even take the videos themselves with tripods and stuff and so it's quite crazy for me honestly um if one d i mean if totally honestly did this it would quite be crazy um and just unethical if you have an agreement with someone that we're gonna do this then both have to benefit obviously and so i would understand why she would be suing um i do see her winning if it's a matter of there was an agreement and there was a bridge of that and this material that is out there so basically that is that i want you guys to go and comment down below what you guys um actually think and i do have to say being someone that has been dealing with lawyers lawyers are not cheap you guys they are not cheap so if somebody that is in the sex work i should say is like making enough to can even afford them lawyers then it means that they must really be doing good for themselves you know they must be doing good for themselves but anyway go ahead and comment below what you guys think and let's move on to the next topic up next many years we're going to talk about meg g and his beef with more flavor now i'm not sure when it comes to this you guys but it does seem like um more flower just lost his job or something and then um meji came out and said that he's very happy that that happened now obviously that's very odd why would you be happy that somebody lost, lost their job and if you be public about it and talk about it but it does seem like these two actually had um some beefs now somebody somebody asked I don't want to be called off but I don't like um their comments about my favorite Moflava um DJ did you see this I know um you want to entertain it mara akhutlwaela ma should the boy okay and then Moflava says that's the only language he knows um and then somebody said why does Megji dislike you so much because honestly I don't even think you know but the harsh words he says about you tells us that he actually has a serious problem now more flavor says that's what you get when you help someone get their first radio contract on at yfm now meg g did go on you guys to actually say that there was a time that it seems like more flavor actually um gave a dig at meg g the time that his podcast was at about 5,000 subscribers and he said that he was on a couch talking shit when um he, yeah now more flavor was actually like you know over there with a real job and working like like he, he did not say that but you know run about those lines and so obviously it had to do with the job and so i guess obviously you know make this podcast flew and it has become sorry one of the biggest in the continent and so now muflav is like it seems like he lost his job i'm great i and remember when knock on your ego and reputation i remember when i just started the podcast it was still small like maybe 5000 subscribers or whatever yeah. someone tweeted at mo they like um hey where's mcg right and then he replied is like last time i checked 
um, he was sitting on a couch talking shit, <laughs> and I'm doing breakfast at. Metro. I remember the tweets. Oh. Now, I remember Dilo di chenchi le no I'm behind the mic He's yeah. sitting on a couch playing with his balls I would understand now why he would say something like that Me personally would I say that? No I wouldn't say I'm happy about it I think maybe I would just go ahead and remind <laughs> Remind the person Like yeah I do remember there was a time this person was you know giving jabs at me about this job thing And now I'm over here doing my thing and you're over there on the couch you understand so I mean, they do things in different ways, but I do understand why you would feel that way. I think if there's anything about life that you should know is that never like make comments up, um, and making it seem like somebody is beneath you or you're better than them unwarranted. Unless if somebody is coming for your success, I don't think that you need to talk about, you know, their failure. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I don't know when it comes to that, but everybody's gonna do things however it is that they want me personally i do understand why he would actually go there at first i was quite surprised i was like but when he explained i was like oh okay i kind of get it you know um but would i be that brave no i wouldn't be that bold um because again this life is a tire like it's constantly spinning you know and so yeah i guess we'll see what happens but I'm obviously just going through these topics, you guys, because I know for a fact that I won't be able to make individual videos. So some of them will have clips, some of them will not, and that is that. But let's go ahead and move on. I think this will be the last topic I'm tired. The last topic that I'm gonna talk about, you guys, is this topic, okay? Go ahead and watch this video. Now, girl, I don't care what that man did. I am not smashing his car for nothing. First of all, I have two cars, so I am not about to risk my cars. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, that's also one of the reasons. Like, I'm just like, okay, what if I go for his car and then he come for mine? And then he decides, well, once I'm done with this one, let me go for the other one. I just, I'm not like, no drama, okay? No drama here um so this the way that the story is being told there was a live that was also on tiktok that i actually caught up a bit and the person there was a person that claimed to be the guy who the car belonged to claimed that um he had to rush home because the kids were in there his children and this woman went in there and started beating the kids so he had to come in and as he was de de like diffusing the situation she went out and she banged the car and whatever they had to escape like somehow this is some sort of like chow king kong or something i don't understand like why are you all dating women that can beat you you know if that is the case but anyway <laughs> I don't want to seem somehow but you know i just don't understand some things but anyway there was also another story that was saying that she borrowed the money to buy the car and then obviously guy was now doing the cheating and everything guys let me be honest with you right now no matter what a man does never touch his property at this point that man has every right to go to the police station and get that woman arrested so no matter what the situation is even if she's the one that loaned the money and borrowed the guy the only way is to go to small claims and if the guy even agrees that it was a loan because most of you let me not say most of you i used to be part of that but not anymore i am not i'm not part of i'm not part of that gang anymore if you're gonna borrow a man money First of all, don't do that. Second of all, then have an agreement. Go to the police station, draft something that says this is a loan and not a gift. But you need to understand that if that person does not bring that money back, which I got the from small claims, my dying. Okay? So you need to be very, very careful because they cannot open a criminal case for someone that borrowed and you lended them the money 
and there was no force you understand so whether if that money was hers or not at the end of the day she can face jail time and i just don't think that it's worth it honestly for me i don't think that it's worth it and so i think if you're someone that is smart and you love your future and you feel you know you want to have a good future that does not have criminal records and stuff especially for dumb stuff like this like girl just let him be if he cheats on you why destroy his car if he's whatever like just keep it moving and you know focus on your life focus on just success focus on something when a man stress stresses you think of a business that you can make you know and and like rather just your best revenge should be your pay passion okay money <laughs> you know because wow i just no okay like no but anyway ninjas i'm really actually tired right now i'm gonna go ahead and log off i love you guys so much stay blessed i'm gonna edit i think maybe this might actually end up coming tomorrow because i don't think i'm fine do you see how sweating i am right now but anyway i love you ninjas stay blessed and i'll see you guys in my next episode bye ninjas